face was swollen, my skin was itching, it was burning, it was red, it was inflamed, it was irritated, it was a hot mess, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Derrick and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So by the title, I'm gonna be sharing with y'all like what happened to my face and how I cleared it up. And yeah, so let's get right into the video. Um, A few weeks back, I decided to like try some new product from this makeup line that I had been using for months. And I really like the makeup. My skin did look, my skin looked like skin, and I did love the finish that it gave. Everybody brag and boast about this one particular makeup brand. So of course I got it when the hype died down, and I was using it for some time. I would use it whenever I wanted to wear makeup and whenever I wanted my skin to look like skin. So I got that, and I didn't have any reactions because my mom and my sisters were having a reaction from that makeup, but it didn't do my skin anything, or so I thought. So um. The months passed on and this brand had launched some concealer so of course i wanted to try it so i ended up getting it and um i tried it two times prior to that third time and i loved it my skin did not break out no reactions so the third time that i wore it um you know everything was normal and that night once i did my skincare routine which is the products i've been using for three years and i it's for sensitive skin i never had any breakouts I went to sleep, y'all. I woke up, felt like somebody punched me in my eyes. My face was swollen, my skin was itching, it was burning, it was red, it was inflamed, it was irritated, it was a hot mess, y'all. Like I have pictures I'm gonna be inserting in because at this point I'm panicking, like I'm shocked, like my face. I never like really valued how much my face meant to me until that moment when I come wearing them makeup when I didn't feel pretty, no matter how my hair looked. When it came down to looking at my face, I was so crushed. Like my silver stain just went down. Like I did not want to look at nobody in the face. I was just so embarrassed. Like um, I would go in the store and people would just stare at me and it was just a mess y'all. Like so I started wearing my glasses just to cover up my eyes just so it can take off my eyes so much. And even with filming a few videos that you guys can see, I was wearing my glasses, that's because my skin was toe up. And um, so not only were my eyes swollen over and under, also my jawline, it was discolored, it was just a mess. Like, oh my God, I was in panic mode. So I thought that, okay, if I just put a little cream on it, the next day it will be gone. But nope, next day, same old, same old cycle painful itchy dry scaly like i had eczema y'all eczema over my eyes and under my eye which i never had eczema on my face now i do have a few little spots here and there but on my face no i never even suffered from acne and skin issues ever so to me this was a shock to me and um so first i just stopped using all my skincare products just all together i didn't cleanse my skin with any soaps um, I didn't put anything on my face to clean it, just plain warm water in a towel. And that's all I did. And I was using a little um, vitamin E oil to moisturize my skin, but that wasn't even moisturizing my skin. My face was so ashy, so scaly, so dry, so I couldn't use that. So um, I started using a Vino Baby uh, lotion for eczema, which they helped with moisturizing my skin. But as, but as far as curing the eczema and like the problems I was having on my face, it didn't help at all. So I even tried uh, Aquaphor um, Healing Ointment, which they helped a little bit, but I felt like it kind of made it a little worse. So I had to stop using that. And then I said, okay, I was telling my husband, I was like, okay, so maybe I need to get some Benadryl. So I got Benadryl, that didn't work. So he kept saying, stop messing with your face. Stop putting stuff on your face. And you know, I was gonna listen to him. So I just kept trying different things and I just kept washing my face with the warm water, moisturizing. At this point, I was using Dove Baby Sensitive Skin Lotion, so I was just moisturizing my skin with that, and that's all I thought I needed. I was drinking plenty of water, which I am a water drinker, so I thought that would help, but it just got worse, y'all. Like, waking up in the morning, thinking you're gonna see your face back to normal with just bags under your eyes, like swollen. All this was so red, y'all. All this was so dark and discolored, like my skin had took a turn for the worse. Like at this point I had given up. I was gonna make an appointment with the dermatologist, but then I was like, all they're gonna do is give me some cream and make spots lighter on my face. And I don't, I didn't want that. So um, 
I just got tired, y'all. Like, at this point, I'm just so let down. I just could not believe that this was happening to me. I was like, oh, my God. I never valued the way, like, the simple things in life, just like my eyes. I never, like, they never dawned on me, like, one day you can wake up and your face looks totally different. So, um, after that, I said, you know what? I'm going to Walmart. I'm going to try one more thing. And I forgot to mention, I did try oatmeal and honey, which that didn't help me at all. I guess I just had to keep using it. I only used it one time. And I wasn't feeling it, so I just not, did not use that because I was looking up natural things to heal eczema on your face. And um, I was going to use aloe vera gel, but I just decided not to use it. So um, I ended up going to Walmart one night, and I said, I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to go in the aisle. I'm going to get some. I know that works. And um, I just couldn't find anything. So one key thing, when you have eczema, look for this little um, eczema association approved. Like if you see that on there, you know the product is gonna work. I have several products that I use on my daughter's skin that has this on there. If it does not have this on there, I'm not using it on her skin. Um, so when I saw this, it was $8 by the way. So when I saw it, I was like, this better work because I'm sick of this. And I saw Maximum Strength. It's Intensive Healing Lotion for Eczema, Fast Lasting, Relief for Itchy Dry Skin, and for us to Itch. I could not stop scratching my skin. Like I just kept Scratch, and I know that's the worst thing ever to do, but y'all gotta have eczema to understand that stand on scratch is the easy part, but scratching yeah. like there's no way of getting around it. I mean, I was waking up in my sleep, scratching my face like I was sleep, scratching my face like I even scratched until it got burned. And this was this is going right now, but it was dark right there. This was dark under here, um, was dark over my eyes, has scaly patchy eczema things my forehead like my whole face is a mess so i got this and that night i was like please god let this work please i just want my face back to normal so um as i got the shower i just do my normal skincare routine that i do now just water i'm not using nothing on my face right now so towel water that's what i did i took a generous amount put it everywhere on my face and i did a circular motion put this on my skin when i woke up i saw like huge results like my skin was not back to normal yet but just that one thing gave me hope and I kept using it and using it by the third day my skin was back to normal I have a lot of pictures I'm going to be inserting in as I talk but my skin was back to normal and to this day I still use this I've been using this for seven days now and it really really does work um and I'm almost halfway through I don't know if y'all can see but this is like I'm right here because I live by this but I do notice, like, when you first use this and you do have your scales on your face and the dryness, your skin is going to start, like, peeling. So you're going to have to get the dry skin off your face. Hmm? Okay, well, hold on. You're going to have to get all that dead skin off your face. So that's what I did. Um, I had to use a little bit of Dove Sensitive Lotion with this just to cure some of the ash. But once I got the ash and the dry skin off of my face... I was good to normal like y'all my skin feels so smooth so soft it never felt like this before um even my nose like everywhere is so soft like um my skin just looks very good and i'm so pleased with this and like it just was it was a disaster i was just so crushed um so just imagine waking up your face is normal imagine going to bed with a normal face and then you wake up and your face look like martin yeah, that might be, a, I might be reaching a little bit, but I felt terrible. Like this was just a mess. I couldn't even film the way I wanted to film and do the videos that I wanted to do because my skin was just awful. So I had to have the camera all, use my phone all the way back there and not even close like this. Cause y'all two weeks ago, I would not be doing this. Like it was just so bad and irritated. So yeah, so that's what happened to my face. All because I wanted to try a new makeup, which I should have just stuck with. Maybelline Fit Me, which never gave me any problems on my bare minerals. And I just wanted to try new makeup. And no, I'm not a makeup person. I'm not even a makeup artist. I barely even know how to do makeup. But um, I guess you live and you learn. So I really do like the makeup. I just kind of low-key want to try it again. But that would be kind of crazy to try it again. But um, anyway, so uh -uh, hi. I'm talking. Wait. So from this moment on, I may just start back just using concealer just to conceal the dark circles under my eyes and a little bit of powder if I do that. But um, also, I may start going, 
trying different hypoallergenic makeup. So let me know in the comments below if y'all want to see me just try out different makeups for sensitive skin and let you guys see how it works. But anyway, so um, let me know in the comments below if you have ever had an allergic reaction from some makeup. If you guys know what makeup I'm talking about, leave that in the comments below. And because I'm not going to put them on blast. So that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. Um, if you do have eczema on your face, let me know in the comments what you guys do to cure it or keep it under control because this is so good. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Um, also, I'm going to be doing a video coming up um, probably next week showing you guys like moisturizers and lotions that actually work for eczema prone skin. So, yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope that it was helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.